Yes, I'm recording right this instant. Okay, I'm gonna try and speak loudly. There's no one else around, so I can speak quite loud and not feel uh, self uh, self conscious about it. I've got Lucy on loudspeaker on the phone. I don't know if you can hear her. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is you're gonna see what it's like to be a shitty web designer. Uh, shitty web design work. What is it? It's where you don't actually get to program. The job is so simple and boring that it's been done a million times that people have made tools to do it. But unfortunately, all of those tools is usually shit and can never do what you exactly want them to do. Uh, so what we have here is WordPress. It's, uh, it's a content management system and people use it to put their websites on the internet. Uh, what I'm using is a theme called Divi. Uh, it's a paid for theme. It's pretty much retard proof if you want to make a fairly decent uh, website. But there's a lot of menus. Maybe you wouldn't understand all of this unless you... Like this menu wouldn't make any sense to you if you didn't know about CSS. Uh, so you can see I've, made, I've added something in here. Uh, so this specific piece of code was just to make the background of this pink because there wasn't a setting anywhere else to do that. So if you wanted to do something that the venues don't, you don't, ha don't be able to do, then you have to use CSS. Uh, so what I have in my task right now is we've been messing around with this website. Uh, we got a slider for websites shown on a PC and we got a slider for websites on a phone. Uh, so earlier we saw that this was too big when this word was cutting off the screen on the mobile. So we're gonna have to make an alternative version. So remember what I said about this Divi being retard proof is that there's can you can you make a can you make the like Can make another version on mobile devices? Well, Divi has a feature. Well, okay, I don't know if you can hear what Lucy asked. She asked if it doesn't we, matter. Not if we can. Okay. Matter. She doesn't want to put the question into uh, the the world for everyone to hear. So anyway, she sent me a screenshot from her phone and the this word surrounding was coming out the side of the screen because it's not clipping and it didn't fit on the screen so this looks fine in our browser at 100 percent nice and big fortunately too big for a phone screen and it doesn't automatically resize what's uh, what's the function you used before to uh, automatically adjust it well she asked what's how would you usually make yeah, do this well, people are going to be wondering why I'm suddenly speaking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so Lucy, stop interrupting. Uh, right, so this text, she did ask how would you do this normally, so in your style sheet, you would have some rules depending on the width of the screen. So if the width of the screen is below, let's say, 800 pixels, then it's definitely smaller than what a uh, desktop would be so you would know reliably that that would usually show up on a tablet or a phone so you can then target the CSS put the CSS rules within that tag and then they would only be applied within that circumstance uh, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna make this one turn off for phones and tablets so it's only going to show on the desktop. And then we're going to... Where's the menu? We want to duplicate this. And then in this one, we're going to make this one only for 
for the phones and tablets. So it's greyed out because it would normally be shown here on the screen. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to make the font size for the title smaller. So it's at 72 pixels right now. Let's just make it around 42. And we'll make... Is this a sub? I think this is the body. So it's this one. We'll do 17 pixels. That'll be so save that to save in Divi. You got this little bit at the bottom corner. Hit save. Sometimes it shows up in three dots. And you have to click it to open up this little menu at the bottom. 